Hey, I'm Mox and welcome to the video. Hey everybody, my name is Mox and welcome to the video. Uh, before we start this video off, the video footage that you're seeing, I'm putting as an overlay because I don't want a green screen of me just explaining things. This video is from the Cooper Curse on YouTube. Uh, I recommend going and checking them out. They post uh, Cooper related content. They haven't posted for a while now though. So um, yeah, there's that. And since everybody else on YouTube is doing their thoughts on the franchise, I thought I might put my two cents worth in. But uh, in this video, I'll be going over my thoughts on the fifth like Cooper game and where people are in and developing this game. Now let's start it off with saying that Psycho Punch, as you all know, has been out of it at, in the Cooper franchise for a long time now. They have stopped making the infamous games and the like Cooper games for a long time because they're working on an even bigger project called the Ghost of Tsushima and the Ghost of Tsushima 2. Now this was years back, so I don't, so I I would be surprised if it's not already done, because this was you back. But to be fair, it takes a lot of work to make a game that big, and to make a second part of it too, and the director's cut. So I would understand if the Cooper game does, if the fifth game doesn't come along right away. So, and somebody asked Sucker Punch on Reddit, Instagram, Twitter, anywhere, that somebody asked. So, cause somebody asked them if they are still interested in making the game, and they said yes. They are still into making the fifth like Cooper game. They are just busy with a lot of stuff on their plate right now, mainly Ghost of Tsushima, like I said before. But here's what I think. I think that Sucker Punch will have a tiny, tiny role in making the fifth game, mainly because Sun's Auto Games is you know, not developing the fifth game. And here's why Sanzaro Games did not develop in the fifth game. They got bought out by Facebook in Oculus Games. So that's the, that's why Sanzaro wouldn't be seen making the fifth game because, you know, it's Facebook. Facebook has been buying out a lot of companies recently. And, you know, Facebook, I don't really see a mobile game or, like, any game or a console game, especially... S especially an apparently unpopular game such as this one being made from Facebook. I don't see that happening. So that's why Sunzo has dropped out of the game developing race. Now here's what I think. I think Insomnia Games could be the one making the fifth game as, as I make this video, as we speak. Because think about it, they've had a long history together, uh, them in, in like Cooper, because because think about it, Sucker Punch actually made a game with Insomniac Games back in the day. I forgot. Uh, I forgot most of the game, but I think I think it was one of the Ratchet and Clank games. Sucker Punch had a had a small part in developing the first Ratchet and Clank game. But think about it too. Insomniac Games made a live broadcast of them playing the first game. And think about it. Insomniac Games, with their new game, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart, they had a small cameo of the Cooper gang and the van inside the game. In one of the levels, you could look to, you could look somewhere and you'd see their cameo. So they have a history together of working together. So I wouldn't be surprised if Insomniac Games were was working on a fifth game with them and I really don't like I really would want a fifth game to happen because I don't like how they ended Thieves in Time Off in the in the end if you got 100% of the game complete you'd see a secret ending of Sly Cooper falling out of the van onto uh, a desert ground in Egypt and that would be the end of the game So they left us kind of on a cliffhanger, they left us hanging, 
I, I kind of want to see where it picks off. This might be the last game in the franchise if they decide to make it. I really don't see a sixth game coming because, you know, a fifth game is already questionable right now. So I don't really see a sixth game coming. But, yeah, uh, also, there was a movie being made in 2016, not 2017. A lot of people are confused. It was going to be made in 2016 but and by Rainmaker Studios. And uh, pff, knowing this game, it's already unpopular. But there was, a, there was a movie called Ratchet and Clank also made in 2016 for the reboot of the 2016 single for PlayStation 4 and 5. Um, but... They also made a movie of, uh, based on the Ratchet and Clank PS4 game. And this movie was so poorly received. Like, I liked it, but apparently others didn't. And since that movie got such a bad review, Rainmaker stepped in and said, Hey, I don't think this movie will make great progress either. Let's back out before we get bad reviewed. So they were worried about themselves rather than us, the community being uh, happy that a f movie was being made. So that movie is apparently gone. But I heard somewhere or read somewhere that that movie got canceled because there was a TV show of, about Lycuba being made. So, I don't know. But I kind of wanted Rainmaker to stop making the movie because, okay, d just look at the trailer. Everybody be cool. I'm on it. Family, I can't feel my hands! Stay cool, big guy. Pretty sure I'm going into shock right now! We're running out of time, Sly! Hey, no clocks, Bentley. It throws me off. We're too late! Not on my shift. So hungry! For the last time, you really need to see a doctor about this. Because it's... Just remember! It's not normal, Murray. Times. This always happens when you skip your afternoon fruit. What about... No, a chocolate orange does not count. But it tasted like fruit. No buts. Sly. And of course, you are gone. Yeah, I don't like Murray's design. I mean, <sighs> I mean, if they were going to make a movie, at least use the art style from Thieves in Time. I mean, I'd rather you use the art style from Honor Among Thieves or A Band of Thieves. They most likely use it from Honor Among Thieves, but I really don't see them making a movie that cartoony of an art style because the Thieves in Time art style is perfect for the movie. It's realistic enough, while not being too realistic. Murray's style was okay, and Bentley in the trailer, yo, he just looks like some Mike Wazowski type stuff from Monsters, Inc. But no, so the movie could be made from Thieves in Time, but also that Rainmaker went with... Uh, just isn't my cup of tea. But, uh, yeah. If you think Insomniac Games could be working on it and should, uh, comment down below. 
and tell me your thoughts on this. And I kind of want to see what the timeline, but don't follow the timeline from Thieves in Time. Because I don't really don't know where that timeline came from. It it sounds like uh, Sanzaro Game just took it out of the pocket, just ignored everything that happened from Sucker Punch, and just, you know, made their own timeline happen. So tell me what you think about this. Do you think this is a good idea? Do you think Insomniac Games would be the ones to develop it, this game? Tell me what you think in the comments down below. I'll be waiting for you. I'm Marks. I had fun talking about this. See you in the next video. Hey, congratulations. You made it to the end of the video. If you enjoyed and you want to see more from me, hit that channel and press that subscribe button. Also, turn on post notifications so you'll get notified with every single upload. Okay, show's over. Now go outside.